So in a video where I'm talking about topical finasteride, I guess it's helpful to start with what is finasteride in general. Finasteride, a synthetic chemical compound, was initially developed and manufactured by pharmaceutical giant Merck Co. The company marketed the drug under two brand names, Proscar, designed to treat benign prosthetic hyperplasia, or BPH for short, at a dose of 5 mg, and Propecia, intended to treat male pattern baldness at a standard dose of 1 mg. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, commonly referred to as the FDA, first approved finasteride under the brand name Proscar in 1992 for the treatment of BPH. Subsequently, it was approved under the brand name Propecia for the treatment of male pattern baldness, also known as androgenetic alopecia, in 1997. Interestingly, the discovery of finasteride's effectiveness in treating hair loss was somewhat serendipitous. During the initial studies of finasteride for treating enlarged prostates, researchers observed an unexpected side effect, hair growth in areas where hair had been previously lost due to male pattern baldness. This intriguing side effect led to further studies specifically designed to test the efficacy and safety of finasteride for hair loss treatment. The subsequent pivotal Clinical trials confirmed the effectiveness of finasteride as a treatment for male pattern hair loss. Men who took the drug had significantly more scalp hair after one year of treatment than men who took placebo. Additionally, the men who took finasteride experienced slower rates of hair loss and were likely to report improvements in their hair's appearance over time. These promising results led the FDA's approval of finasteride for hair loss treatment, specifically androgenetic alopecia, in 1997. However, the patents for Proscar and Propecia expired in 2006 and 2013, respectively. The expiry of patents permitted other pharmaceutical companies to produce and market generic versions of finasteride. And we can see this with the rise of telehealth companies, many of which are marketing to men who have this specific problem of androgenetic alopecia. Generic drugs, while required to have the same active ingredient, strength, dosage form and route of administration as the brand name product are typically sold at a lower cost, maintaining the same expected safety and effectiveness. So with this development, like I said before, the rise of telehealth companies and Propecia and Proscar being off patent, this has led to an increased accessibility and also affordability of these medications, providing patients with more cost-effective solutions to managing conditions such as benign prosthetic hyperplasia, BPH, and also androgenetic alopecia, male pattern baldness.